Ever since the program was established in 1927, the IEP men's basketball team has been extremely successful and a big part of the university. However, even though the team has seen steady success for several decades, in 2006 they took the jump to a Division II powerhouse when they appointed head coach Joe Lombardi, who is still at the helm to this day. Lombardi shaped the Crimson Hawks program from a team that, on, that had only made the NCAA tournament six times in its history to a team that has made it nine times in the past 16 seasons. This past season, IUP had one of its most successful teams to date, finishing 33-3 overall. They were able to capture the PSAC's championship with a 63-52 victory over Millersville. Then they moved on to the NCAA tournament and ultimately fell in the Final Four to Augusta University. This fantastic season had students and the Indiana community showing up to the Kowalczyk Center in droves, especially since it was the first season fans were allowed back into the arena after the COVID-19 pandemic. This season, fans will return to the KCAC with the same passion and optimism as last year, as the team looks like they are poised to make another run at a national title. I had the privilege of interviewing IEP student Elijah Ward, who worked as a freelance photographer for the team for the past two seasons. During his time as the team photographer, Elijah was able to be present at practices and home games, which gave him an insight on the team that not many t fans can have. I asked Elijah what his expectations are for this upcoming season, especially after such a successful winning season last year. We definitely had a big team last year, a great team. And um, I know a lot of players are back this year also, except for um, I know Marnie with the Buffalo, pretty sure. Uh, I know he's doing big things up there. But um, honestly, I think, the team is actually going to be even like stronger than last year. Um, you have Sean Dale, he was injured last year. Um, ACL, for sure. But um, he's back this year healthy. So I think that's going to be a big factor on the team. Uh, I know they have, I'm pretty sure he's a freshman. Um, I know he's getting good minutes in. I know he's going to be a big threat this year. But um, overall, I think with Dave, Ethan, Kyle stepping up. I know he had playing time last year. Uh, and then just everybody on that, Enrique and all them, I know they have, like, big chances coming up. So they're definitely going to be seeing a lot more playing time this year. And I think IEP has another chance to go back to the Final Four and win it all. As Elijah stated, if the Crimson Hawks can build off their stellar performances from last year, there is no reason they can't make a trip to the NCAA tournament again, maybe even reaching the Final Four. In the NCAA Division II preseason pool, the Hawks are ranked as the number three team in the nation. This is because the team was able to hold on to some important pieces from last season's team, including standout performers Dave Morris, Ethan Porterfield, and Shondell Jones, who was returning after a serious knee injury he suffered last season. With these players and an impressive recruiting class of freshmen and transfer students, IUP are favorites to win their fourth consecutive PSAC championship and challenge for a national title. For their preseason this year, IUP traveled to play two-story Division I programs in Miami and Syracuse. Although they fell in both games, IEP gave both teams a fight. Syracuse's head coach Jim Beheim said in a press conference, quote, I enjoyed playing IEP. They gave us a tough battle. They're a well-coached team that plays great defense. This is a testament to the great program that head coach Joe Lombardi has built and continues to build to this day. Anticipation continues to build for this season as the Crimson Hawks will officially begin their schedule on Saturday, November 12th against Concord at Clarion University. This has been Matt Palumbo with IUP News.